Mathematics Grade 7 Lesson 3 In our previous lesson, we defined a set as a collection of objects, things, or symbol which are clearly defined. The individual objects in a set are called the members or elements of the set. A set must be properly defined so that we can find out whether an object is a member of the set or not. There are two ways to show a set. Roster method, or defining by listing all its elements. Set B is set of numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. It's well defined. If you consider any object, we can say it is an element of B or not. For example, 6 is an element of B, 12 is not an element of B. Set X equals A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, and E are elements of X. X has five elements. As you see, we listed all elements within a within curly braces and we separated them by comma. Describing the elements of the set, set builder notation. We say A is set of X such that X is an integer and X is greater than zero. Some elements of A, 1, 2, 5, 8, 10. As you know, all integers greater than zero gives us a set which is called set of natural numbers. We relate a member and a set using this symbol, a Greek letter epsilon. If an object X is an element of set A, we write X, this notation A. And if an object is Z is not an element of set A, we write Z is, and we use this notation. The first notation denotes is an element of A. X is an element of A, is a member of A. X is a member of A, belongs to, X belongs to A. And the second notation has the opposite meaning, Z does not belong to A, or Z is not an element of A. For example, if A is 1, 3, 5, then 1 belongs to A and 2 does not belong to A. What's to remember? Set, member or element of a set, roster method, Builder notation for a set, membership notation belongs to, is an element of, and the opposite of that. Thanks for watching.